I'm George. We've got Tony there, and that's old Mark. Thanks. Appreciate oh. the old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pollock. Pollock. Maybe Pollock. mackerel if I hit lucky. Seaweed. <laughs> a lot of seaweed. <laughs> a lot of weed. I caught a worm the other day. Did, that was Interesting. The first yeah, yeah, yes. a big four pound pollock earlier there. And a couple of small a couple of small ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, the further you get in the rest of the year, or two months, this and the bigger fish will come in. You get some good six, seven pounders. To be fair, Mark, Mark's done this his whole life. He's came down here as a child. Uh, your family used to spend like two months yeah, down here over the summer and all there. Just parked over there. So, yeah, no, so he's the guy that knows m most about this area. We sort of follow his leads. Too often put him away. <laughs> <laughs> I would say at least three nights a week at least. Yeah, it's a new thing. It's a new thing. New it's a stress reliever. Mm -hmm. Absolute stress reliever. It is. And you lose. Is all, our, all our wives are friends as well. Yeah. Is that what I say? Absence makes the heart go fonder, eh? Plus, to be honest, you're off work for three months. A lot of people are off work and all you're doing is drinking. Yeah. So you're coming out here, you're not drinking. You're not wasting your evening sitting in front of the tallies with a beer in your hand. You're right here, a bit of fresh air, but actually he's doing something. Yeah. yeah, we'd bring down a couple of wee fire logs and set them up there and yeah. stuff. Yeah. It just gives you a wee bit of light, a wee bit of heat, and you just we fish away here at one or two in the morning. Though. Is that? There's swimming oh. clubs and all come here. Swim yeah. out there. That's yeah, a lot of swimmers here. Other. There's a wee place over there called the Cauldron. All young kids from the five years old up. The they dive off that cliff into the deep, they call the Cauldron. It's a very well used place. Mm. That's an island there, Muck Island or Rat Island, they would say it's you Muck call it. But there's a, there's a land bridge to it. When the tide goes out, you can walk over. On a low tide, you can actually get over for an hour. Mm. Yeah, it would be, be it's, it's easy to get to, it's relaxing, everybody's friendly. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. It's easy fishing as well, you can cast out there and really and cast out, and you're not hitting weeds or anything. Yeah. It's all sand out relaxing. there, so, well, if you go around the back there, you're hitting weeds every time, losing your tackle. It's it's just a nice, relaxed fish. Yeah, and you can okay. go down on the rocks there, yeah, the low tides right. in, and then you get a bit further out, and then when the tide's coming in, like now, you come back up onto the pier, you have a bit more footing, and just a nice peaceful atmosphere. Blue Lagoon was be mine, it's just around the back of Brown's Bay there. Yeah, lovely wee spot Lagoon, there, right one day there. And the big cove goes in as the water's just blue. Ah, yes. Absolutely lovely. As long as you don't mind fighting the cows. <laughs> get to it. <laughs> <laughs> we got across a couple of fields. Yeah. Yeah. Tony doesn't like the cows. No, don't mm. like the fish either, to be honest. They'll scare me when they come out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> have to get the end to take them off the hooks. Big girls blows. Mm.